In this video I want to spend a few minutes talking about the uh, options menu. We've mentioned this in the past and I wanted to give a, a little more information and demonstrate kind of the impact of some of the menu choices on your workflow in our studio. In the Windows version of our studio, uh, options is located under tools. In the Mac OS version, it's under preferences. Uh, what you see will also depend somewhat on what version of our studio I'm using the most recent version. Uh, but, but they should be fairly static. So, you know, the R version is uh, something you set up the first time you run our studio, picking which, uh, if you have multiple versions of R installed on your machine, which one you want to use. Normally this won't change, so I'm not going to uh, go into that. Um, the default working directory, <clears throat> when not in a project, this is where our studio would generally orient itself uh, when it starts or when you're not in a project. Uh, the default is usually it will be operating uh, system specific. It usually in Windows points towards your My Documents folder. I've changed it to a 267 folder on the desktop. You can just uh, browse to an area and create create uh, a folder uh, default working directory wherever you want. The uh, these checkboxes really affect the behavior of how uh, <clears throat> your data workspace and your projects operate when you open and close our studio. The um, if you're working in projects and you uh, select this, all that means is that if you close our studio while you're in a project, then when you open it up uh, again, it will open that project for you. <clears throat> what it populates in that project has to do with uh, the rest of the choices here. Um, restoring your R data into workspace at startup. If you um, have an R data workspace that you're using and you're saving that workspace, um, uh, when you exit, you can set that to always, for example. Then when you uh, load up our studio, it will load up the workspace that was present at the time that our studio last closed. Now, if that's in a project, it'll load up all the project workspace data. If you're not in a project, you're just working it, it'll do the same thing. It'll work whatever was in your workspace at the time you closed. Um, and so, uh, the behavior of the saving of the workspace on exit depends on these three options. I'm going to leave it at never for now. History has to do with the commands that you type into the console in RStudio keeping kind of a running log of all the commands you've used and removing duplicate entries will just remove if you're entering the same command repeatedly, say when you're building new code or debugging, it'll reduce um, that to try and keep unique history of commands. But let's leave that uh, unchecked as well. Those are the primary ones. Uh, before I go and demonstrate this, I just want to show you that the pane layout uh, can be adjusted here so you can change which uh, window appears in which location around the screen. I'm not going to go into detail about that, but you can play around with that if you want to modify the layout of the different um, parts of the screen and, and to some degree what they display. But so Let's go ahead and create a, uh, a project really quickly. I'm going to create uh, a new project, start it in a new directory that's a subdirectory of this 267 folder. We'll just call it options since that's what we're talking about. Now it's going to move me into that project and uh, drop me in that folder. So let's uh, go to file and create a new R script file. Let me just paste in some code that uh, I already have. In this code, basically, we have uh, creation of four different vectors. And uh, for example, this creates an ID vector of length 5. It's an integer. It is the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the first line creates the vector. The second line displays the vector in the console. I've also got a script that will create uh, mail, which is a character vector, age, and FEC, which are both numeric vectors. And notice that they're being displayed in the console, and at the same time, these are showing up as values in my workspace as data objects. I can use the data frame command to create uh, a data frame that combines these uh, four variables. So it's five observations of four variables into uh, a data set. And so now at this point, <coughs> we should do a couple of things. One, uh, the red highlight indicates that this file has not been saved. Since I'm in a project, if I hit save, it's going to default to the directory, the project directory. I'll call this options underscore script. 
save that that appears down in our uh, file pane and so now <clears throat> say that I want to close out our studio uh, given the options that I've chosen right now I'm not uh, saving anything um, let's go ahead and close this and see what happens when we reopen it so I close our studio I reopen our studio nothing happens I'm, I'm back in my default directory the project is closed I can certainly go back into this project the options project and it brings back up my uh, script file but not the workspace not the way I've set it now because I haven't been saving my workspace now uh, as Megan discussed she prefers this uh, working this way and now if I want to recreate the data objects I simply just rerun my code I'm starting from scratch I know exactly what I've got in my workspace now and now I can continue programming save the script file close out when I come back um, I'll open a fresh R studio then I can come into this project but so let's the first thing we can do is we can go into options restore most recently open project that's very straightforward if I close this now and I reopen our studio I closed it when a project was open so it brings my project back notice that it is not it has cleared my workspace so I can go back and run this code again and then continue with whatever I want to do I've got my workspace back if I go into the tools menu and I select um, to restore the R data into workspace at startup let's go ahead and close that and see what happens so we close out I launch R nothing happened nothing's different I still don't have a workspace well the reason I don't have a workspace uh, that's being loaded is because I didn't save the workspace to R data on exit I've got this selected as never so um, if you want to save your workspace now again if you, you don't need to do this if you're writing if you're doing all of your data manipulation data import and data programming in a script file you don't need to save the workspace you can simply rerun your script file to get you back to the point where you left off however in class with the projects it may be convenient that when you open up our studio you come right back to where you were so let's change that to always and now let's run our code and recreate our workspace here are our values now because I've changed the behavior it's going to save things when I open back up Voila, there is my workspace just the way I left it. Okay. So those are the different options. The last two, again, the history file is simply keeping track of what commands you're typing into the console, um, what script files you're running, and, and what's being executed in the console. Not really critical for what we're doing in class, but it may be useful if you're writing a lot of code and you want to keep track of what you've done. But I, I, I tend not to use that. So those those are the options that you can have. Now I want to um, let's go ahead and the other thing you can do is if you if you clear your workspace before you close it, that's one way if you've got that set to always save that you can still come back to a clean session. The other thing I want to point out is using the um, this menu over here, the projects menu. There are project options now you can um, change some of those options behaviors for your specific project so say generally you don't want to save your workspace when you exit then if you've set that in the default you can just leave these values and here you can modify um, from the global default so you can set project specific behavior with regard to these option settings if you want to um, that's really all I wanted to talk about in uh, this R Studio session is what the impact of those options are on your workflow. Uh, I hope you find this useful.